Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to create a Teams meeting with the help of Power Automate. So let's begin this. First of all, to explain this example, I will open the Power Automate homepage. To open the Power Automate homepage, you can type make.powerautomate.com in the browser so that it will automatically direct it to the Power Automate homepage if you have already logged in with your Microsoft credentials. This example I will explain in an instant cloud flow as well as using the SharePoint list. First, I will begin with instant cloud flow. So, create an instant cloud flow. For that, click on create and select the instant cloud flow. After that, select the trigger manually trigger a flow. Provide the flow name as Teams Meeting and click on create button. Then the trigger is added to the canvas. Now, I will add inputs to the manually trigger a flow. In the manually trigger a flow, add an inputs like below. Give it as a title. Inside the manually trigger flow, I have added the below given inputs like title which is a text field, description is also a text field, subject is also a text field and attend is an email field, start date is a date field and start time is also a text field. End date is also a date field and end time is also a text field. So we have added all the given inputs which is required in the create teams meeting flow action. Now I will add create a teams meeting flow action. Under the Microsoft Teams connector, add create a teams meeting action. In the subject, provide the details which we have already taken in the manually trigger flow from the dynamic content. So click on this dynamic content and see more, add the subject. Add subject here and message of the body is description. Add the description and time zone, select it as. Here I will be selecting the time zone as India standard time. In the start time column, we have to provide the format of date along with the time. So I will be concatenating here start date and the start time with the T. In this format, I will be concatenating. So let's see how we can do it. Now I will add concat function here. Concat within open bracket, select the start date. Start date. And I will be concatenating with the capital T because we need to get the format of date with the time. After that, we'll be selecting start time. So click on add. After that, in the same way, we will be concatenating end date and the end time in the same format. So select function with the concat. Click on concat. After that, add end date, end date, comma, within single quotes, capital T. After that, end time. Click on add. Select the calendar value as calendar. After that, show all, click on show all. Here, add the required attendees from the custom and select the value from the email of attendees we have given in the manually trigger flow. So now the flow is ready and click on save. Now I will test the flow manually. The flow got saved and test it. Test the flow manually. Click on save and test. In the run flow window, provide all the details which are required to create the team meeting. Flow window, provide all the details which are required to create a team's meeting. Give the title, description and subject for the team's meeting and attendees, select the attendees. After that, start date, start time, end date and end time. After that, click on the run flow. Click on done. Now you can see that uh, flow ran successfully and now let's check the flow has been created teams meeting or not in the Microsoft Teams. See I have opened my Microsoft Teams calendar. In the Teams calendar we can see 
teams meeting has been created from 2 to 3 o'clock in the required attendees what we have provided. This is how to create the teams meeting with the help of Power Automate. Now I will show you how to create a team meeting with the help of the SharePoint list. For that I have created a SharePoint list with some of the field columns that is meeting subject, required attendees, start time, end time and the meeting message. This is the title column and this is the person column with allowing multiple selections, start time with the date and time, end time with the date and time and this is a text column. So I have already created the Power Automate flow. I will explain this flow once. I have taken when an item is created trigger for this and selected the site address and the teams meeting. And in the create teams meeting, I have taken subject as a title column, which is meeting subject. I have formatted here start time with the use of format date time function. I have formatted this date into this specific format, which represents year, month, date, time, hours, minutes, and seconds. In the same way, I have also formatted end time here. After that, selected calendar ID from the calendar ID as calendar and when we click on the show all options it will show required attendees i have taken the email column which is from the dynamic content and separated it with the semicolon because we were multiple emails there in the person field so i have separated it with the semicolons after that click on save and now test the flow click manually and test it now I will go back to the SharePoint list and I will create an item here. Editing grid view. I will give it as a test. After adding an item to the SharePoint list, click on exit the grid view. Within a few seconds, you can see the flow ran successfully and it will create an Teams meeting in the Microsoft Teams calendar. So let's go back to the Teams calendar and check whether the Teams meeting has been created or not. So uh, this is the item we have created and it created the meeting in the Microsoft Teams calendar or you can also check it from the Outlook calendar. This is how to create the Teams calendar. This is how to create Teams meeting in Outlook calendar or Microsoft Teams calendar with the help of Power Automate. For more video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps and Power Automate, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.